Coming up, we've got a USB 3 dock, a new 8-inch Windows 8 tablet. Uh, Logitech has a new mouse and keyboard to take a look at, and it's time to release the Kraken. Better watch before you buy. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Before You Buy is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. Before You Buy is brought to you by Nature Box, where you can order great tasting, healthy snacks delivered right to your door. Forget the vending machine and get in shape for summer with healthy, delicious treats like everything bagel sticks. Mm -mm -mm. To get 50% off your first order, go to naturebox.com slash twit. That's naturebox.com slash twit. And by audible.com. To download the free audiobook of your choice, visit audiblepodcast.com slash before you buy. Hey, welcome to Before You Buy, the product review show where we get all the greatest and latest Give it to our greatest employees. They review it, give you a sense of what it's like using it in real life, and uh, give you the thumbs up or the thumbs down, the buy or don't buy or try recommendation. We're going to kick things off with Father Robert Balasair, the host, the digital Jesuit, he calls himself, the host of This Week in Enterprise Tech, Know How, and Coding 101. We gave him a new dock, a universal dock with USB 3 to try out. Let's take a look. Do you spend a lot of time finding ways to connect your various peripherals and cables into your laptop or Ultrabook? Well, if you do, pay attention. Because we've got the StarTech Universal USB 3.0 Laptop Dock. The StarTech USB 3S Dock HD is a universal docking station designed for those with USB 3.0 equipped laptops. Measuring 7.7 .7 inches long, 2.8 inches high, 4.9 inches wide, and weighing less than 13 ounces, the StarTech dock is well-sized for even the slimmest of notebooks. It requires an i3 CPU with 2 gigabytes of memory or better and is compatible with Windows XP and above as well as Mac OS 10.6 and up. Combining a DisplayLink 3900 video chipset with a Realtek 8211E Ethernet adapter and a VLI A10 USB interface, the dock gives you dual displays, gigabit Ethernet, full audio, and a powered USB 3.0 hub all in a single package. On the back of the dock, you'll find connectors for DVI, HDMI, and VGA video, a single gigabit Ethernet port, 3.5mm jacks for speakers and microphone, and two USB 3.0 ports. On the right side of the unit, StarTech added a third USB 3.0 port, while the left side has a Kensington lock port, the USB uplink, and a jack for 5V power. You can use two of the video connectors at a time, either HDMI and DVI or HDMI and VGA, but not VGA and DVI, with a maximum resolution of 2048 by 1152 per screen. Using the dock is simple. Connect all the peripherals that you intend to use, power the dock, then connect the single USB 3.0 uplink into a USB 3.0 port on your notebook. You'll automatically get a display link pop-up that will install the drivers necessary to use the onboard video device. I was up and running in less than 90 seconds. Performance of the unit is impressive, Thanks to the 5 gigabit per second transfer rate of the USB 3.0 bus, I was able to drive all three screens at 1080p resolution with no discernible lag, pixelization, or artifacting. I tried to stress the dock by pulling three HD streams from the network over the dock's gigabit Ethernet adapter while simultaneously displaying them on the monitors. But again, I had perfect display of all content, even as I ran them in the background while pulling data off a USB 3.0 hard drive. I did notice that by copying data from the USB hard drive to the network drive while simultaneously pulling three HD streams and pushing them out to the monitors, the CPU utilization would rise towards 90%, but that was just three points above where it would be using a separate USB Ethernet adapter and the onboard HDMI port to drive just two monitors. The StarTech USB 3S Dock HD is available now with a two-year standard warranty. You can find it online for about $120. There's a lot to like about the StarTech USB 3.0 Universal Laptop Dock. It's the right size, the right weight. It's compact and yet it has all the ports that you need to connect all your peripherals. I also really like the performance. I tried to stress this a lot. I ran plenty of video. I, I used up a lot of data transfer devices over the bus trying to make it die. 
and it just wouldn't. It's got the bandwidth, the performance that you need to do high quality video applications over that single USB 3.0 bus. I also like the price. At 120 it sounds like maybe it might be a bit too expensive, but consider all the individual components that goes into the StarTech dock. You've got the dual link display link adapter, you've got the gigabit ethernet adapter, the USB audio, and the USB powered hub. It's pretty much a wash in price, except this is a single unit, which means that I can have my nice little tower with a real docking station that has my laptop, my keyboard, my mouse, my USB, my sound device, and all my monitors in one little docking station. I like that. On the con side, I'd say the only negative I can think of is that it doesn't have more USB ports, specifically USB 2.0 ports. Yes, I like that it has three high-speed USB 3.0 ports, but you're going to use those up really quickly. I mean, one with mouse, one with keyboard, and you, then you have one remaining for something else. I would like to have had two to four USB 2.0 ports so I could plug my mouse, my keyboard, maybe my phone into those and then reserve the high speed ports for those hard drives or any applications that require a lot of transfer speed. Still, this is a really good dock. This is the solution that you want if you want that single point of connection between your laptop and your home system. If you're looking for a docking station, then I'd say that the StarTech USB 3.0 Universal Laptop Dock is a definite buy. I'm Father Robert Balasser with Before You Buy. Robert Balasser, the digital Jesuit. Father Robert hosts This Week in Enterprise Tech. He hosts Know How, Coding 101. And every once in a while you tune in on Thursday, he's got a little Father Robert's Corner that he does. And it's kind of, uh, kind of fun, informal show uh, Friday afternoons. Uh, let's move on uh, to our, uh, oh, before we do, snack time. You want a snack? Oh, I love Shannon snacking. Morse is going to be here in just a second to, uh, to in talk about this Windows 8 tablet, but uh, it's snack time. We got our nature box. Yum. Hey, who's been in my nature box? Somebody's been eating my chili lime pistachios. Hey, this <laughs> bag's empty. Yeah, you know, <laughs> this is the problem with nature box. People eat it. <laughs> we've, talk, we've talked before about curated boxes from other people, uh, you know, gifts for men, shaving supplies, things like that. What about curated box for snacks? Brilliant idea, and not just any snacks, but really wholesome, delicious snacks. No high fructose corn syrup, uh, no saturated fats, no trans fats. We're talking about Nature Box, naturebox.com if you wanna learn more about it. Um, this is something, uh, every time I show somebody my nature box, should never start a sentence that way. Every time I show somebody this nature box, people go, oh, and they order it. So I'm just going to, if you go to naturebox.com, you can see all the different snacks you can order and you can put your box together or you can get a default. Here's sourdough cheddar pretzels. Wait a minute, let me just run these by you, Shannon, see which one you want. Garden tomato crunchies, mm -hmm. blueberry nom noms, uh, you know what? The, Take a nom nom. You're just going to love nom -noms. it. nom noms. Here's roasted garlic pumpkin seeds. Again, these are resealable bags, thank goodness, because people have been in all my Nature Box snacks. <laughs> these, uh, like, Ziploc. Doesn't that smell good? Yeah, it does. Or would you rather have roasted? Now, yeah, smell it that. It's very fresh. Ooh, it is. It's very fresh. It's very delicious. Mexicana mango, dried mangoes. I had dried peaches earlier today for a snack. Baked sweet potato fries. Oh, this is good, too. I just ate a whole bag of this. Cherry ganache granola. It's a, it's a granola with chocolate uh, uh, on the outside and that's then good. dried. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Look on the back. No high fructose corn syrup, no partially hydrogenated oils, no artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, artificial colors, no trans fats. No, it's not good. It's good for you. Not just good. It's good for you. Once you're a member, you can select which snacks get come in your monthly uh, box. They also uh, have uh, customizations for vegans. If you want to be soy-free, uh, gluten-conscious, conscious, lactose-free, nut-free, non-GMO, you can any diet need you can uh, fulfill at naturebox.com. You can also select by taste, savory, sweet, or spicy. Can you tell my mouth is watering? <laughs> I like the savories myself. Uh, they send great tasting snacks right to your door with free shipping anywhere in the United States. So, swimsuit weather's here, but we all still get hungry. Let's snack smarter, let's snack better with Nature Box, naturebox.com slash twit. 50% off your very first Nature Box. Stay full, stay strong. Go to naturebox.com slash twit.
Th that was Yum. a good one, isn't it? Yeah, this one's really tasty. That's one of my Blueberry favorites. Blueberry nom noms. Yeah, nom noms. I won't eat the rest of them, they're, I promise. They're, they're like, um, <laughs> what do you mean the rest of them? There's one left. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never eat the last one either. They're so good. I just love these. Anyway, we'll put these aside for later. Mm. Now, you have brought along something new from Lenovo. I have. What is that? This is the Lenovo Mix 2 8. 8 because it's 8 inch. Yay! 2 so, because it's the second one. 2 because it's the second mix. <laughs> yes, so this is brand new. It just came on, onto the market um, very recently. And there's a couple of competitors as well that have pretty much the exact same specs as this one. Dell has something similar. Dell has uh, a Asus the does. Venue Pro. Yep. And mm -hmm. then uh, Toshiba has the Excite, I believe. Yeah, these are all 8 inch Windows 8. Actually, 8.1 now. Tablets. Yeah, this one's 8.1 specifically, yeah. and it's full 8.1. So you're going to be able to get onto the desktop if you wanted to. You could use a stylus. It's not Metro. Use, no. You could even use, uh, this one comes with Microsoft Office and Student Edition. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah, you get a nice little extra, you know, $140 piece of office. Can on I get a keyboard uh, to attach to that or is it just, it's just a You tablet. could do a Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted okay. to, but there is no it's specific It's not like a Surface. No, doing. it's not. Yeah. And they also sell an extra, um, a cover if you wanted to buy that too. It's about 30 bucks on their website. I didn't get to review the cover. I just right. have the tablet itself. But uh, as far as form factor goes, it's, it's little. really nice. It's very little. It's very lightweight. You, I can you hold can it with compare one it hand. to my, uh, that's the Nexus 7, which yeah. is a 7-inch tablet. It's very similar. Very similar in yeah. size. Both of them are built really nice, that's for yeah. sure. And they, this one weighs just a little bit more. This one's 12 ounces. Well, it's got a full operating system on it. It's not just it Android. It does, yeah. It's, uh, it's Windows Pro. And it has nice insides, too. It's got 32 gigs of storage space on here. Wow. It also has uh, plenty of RAM, 2 gigs of RAM, which is just fine that's for fine. this. Yep. As far as the processor goes, it's an Intel Atom Baytrail quad-core processor. Baytrails are good, the ones we were waiting for. It Does is. it have, can you add an SD card storage on it? Or? Yes. So I'm not stuck with 64. So right on the side, I know you hate these. It has a flap. Well, that's all right. I understand. <laughs> that I don't mind so much because you put that right in there. and you close the flap and you Little never see it Little micro SD, again. and that's yeah. right next to the charger. Micro, yeah. uh, there we go, micro USB. And close that up here at the top we have the volume and power uh, battery on this guy lasts about eight hours or so that's about what I was able to get out of it people are saying you could get up to 10 but they must not be using it right. very much because right. I wasn't able to get up to 10 hours did you watch video on it how was that I did so speaking of video the resolution on here is only 1280 by 800 yeah so they say it's full HD IPS it's screen so really HD. nice viewing yeah, yeah. viewing yeah. angles but when you're reading things on here when you're reading very small text like the comments you can really tell if you're used to like an iPad Air or something like that you can really tell a difference it ain't retina baby it ain't retina unfortunately so, I'll so pull let's up. watch this is a this is a review the early that before you Justin earlier before you buy. Back. okay and I'm gonna pull up 720 there we go and I'll make it full it looks and pretty I'll pretty crisp there we go it's also frozen but there we go yeah that happens Hey, JRY. Yeah. So, pretty decent. It looks pretty good with videos as far as that goes, but it's just the text that I had issues with reading. Yeah. And right now it's having some buffering issues here in the studio. I don't know if that's it. That's probably our. That's, I yeah, that's blame most the likely our web. Yeah. The Windows key on this side it is not physical, it is touch. Have you ever played with the Dell Venue 8? Uh, I have not, I but we do have one, and we're going to be reviewing okay, it, I good. believe, next week. So okay. we'll be able to get a really nice comparison yeah. of the two side Seems by side. Seems pretty similar. Yes, it's very, very similar. Um, but honestly, for this one, they say on Lenovo's website it costs around $389, 389 See, that's, but, that's too much. But yeah, that's the thing. Lenovo still has it at that price, but you can get it at Best Buy for 200 bucks. That I would do. That's less... Than this Nexus 7. That's I know. amazing. And that's 32 gig storage. And wow. you can also get a 64 gig version as well. That one just costs $50 extra. I so believe. shop around for this. Yes, yeah, shop around for it. Get it for a good deal because honestly, I wouldn't spend $389 either. Uh, I found it online a lot of different places for $299 if you're not if you don't have a Best Buy in your area or if you don't want to shop online for on that website. But pretty much it's it's decent. It's really fun. I really like the 
fact that they keep full Windows on here, and it's Windows 8.1, so you don't have to update it at all. I like it that it comes with Office. I love that it comes that's, with Office. That saves and you a lot of money. you can access the desktop on that's here. That's the cheapest so way to do, buy Office. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> do everything you can normally do yeah. on a desktop. It works very well as far as that goes. The speakers, I think, could be a little bit louder. There's only one on the back up here, and you have to cup your hand around it to really get some good sound out of it and boost it up all the way. I think that you can't plug I've in had that problem so. a lot. Uh, let's see. Like yeah, a there's a headphone jack, jack right up there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right there. So That's probably you can how always you do headphones. Do that, yeah. I really like the fact that I can hold this in one hand. Amazing. It doesn't weigh very Look at much. That. I, I really like this new line of Windows tablets. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did right. because it's Windows 8 and, you know, it's, it's that operating Before you system. get to the pros and cons, a couple of questions. Does It has a camera? It has a camera. Yep. Eight megapixel I did have some back. fun with the camera. Oh, uh, there is as usual. A, yeah. So Those poor people who share your office. <laughs> I know. <laughs> They're always the guinea pigs, aren't they? <laughs> they are the guinea pigs. So there's two cameras on here. There's a front camera. Uh -huh. It's uh, two megapixels, and the back is five megapixels. Okay. Good enough for Skype, and I had a little bit of fun with it here in the studio, taking some photos of some of my buddies that I work with. This is the front camera. It's very grainy, even with our high light here in the studio. Although, with the front camera, I was able to get some pretty cool photos. I was able to do this oh, kind of photosphere yeah, thing yeah. with the front camera. That's and neat. Or the back camera, excuse me. And it looks pretty good as far as, you know, taking pictures with it go. It also has a gyroscope, so I can tilt it around, which is kind of Oh, fun that's a neat way to do a photosphere. Yeah, isn't that neat? like that. Whee! It's kind of like cool. That. I had a lot of fun with it, although it sort of gives you vertigo after a while. Um, you can take videos with it, like I took this one, but the sound quality is not very good on it. You but can't needs even a better hear it. microphone. Okay. Yeah, needs a better microphone, but decent enough video for a tablet. Yeah. So it's just kind of, yeah, okay, it's average. Nothing too special. So the it. second question, no stylus, right? No stylus. You okay. can purchase a stylus, though, if you wanted to. Oh, you could? Yeah, okay. you can purchase it one. It just wouldn't slot into it. Exactly. Yeah, okay. no slot, unfortunately. That yeah. would be nice if they did include that. Yeah. So, pros and cons? Yeah. You ready? All ready. right. So, solid design. Really like the design of the size and everything like that. Full Windows 8.1 experience and a very, very bright screen. Uh, the competitors to this one don't have bright screens like this one do. So I really like that about this. Although on the con side, I feel like the speakers are lacking and the screen resolution for all of the ones that are the same size, same uh, specs as this one, all the screen resolutions I think could be boosted up a little bit higher, especially when it comes to things like reading uh, ebooks and such mm -hmm. uh, articles online, all of those things. So if I was to give this a buy, try or don't buy, I really had fun with it. Uh, but I feel like you should definitely check out the the top ones in this market to figure out which one is best for you. So I would give it a try. Try on all three, really, try just to make sure three, yeah. that you know there's differences and so forth. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yes. Although if you can really get it for 199 bucks, that's pretty. 199 that's a pretty aggressive bucks. Price. I'm pretty sure that's the cheapest yeah. one you can find on the market. That's yeah. a really good price. Yeah. But there are some differences, so, yes. so, so try before you buy. Absolutely. Thank you, Shannon. Shannon Moore, snubs. Uh, now, you mentioned that you could use a Bluetooth yeah. keyboard and mouse with that. We've got one you might want to try. Ooh. We gave Radford Castro, our director of engineering, the new Logitech Bluetooth illuminated keyboard and ultra-thin touch mouse. Let's see what he thinks. Hi, I'm Radford Castro, and these are reviews of two particular accessories from Logitech. One is the ultra-thin mouse, the T630, and the K810, both powered by Bluetooth and both meant for mobile users. Okay, so this is the Logitech 630, the T630 from Logitech, and it is an ultralight Bluetooth-based mouse. But the real big thing is that it is gesture and touch-based. So the, the surface of the mouse is actually using what they call a touch surface, so you can actually scroll through the web page just using the top of the mouse. And of course, you can click on it. The other cool thing too is that you can actually interact with the Windows 8 menus by swiping from the edges of the mouse from the left side as well as from the right. There's even a middle button that you could tap so you can manage and go through the navigations of all of the different apps on Windows 8. So at least for my two months of usage using this thing, it, it charges very fast but also it quickly dissipates over time. So if you haven't been using it, uh, over maybe two or three days, it's discharge. But it takes about a few minutes for it to get a good charge for about two or three hours of use. So as, if you have a portable backpack with a charger inside, this will help out a lot. Now, 
as far as the pros are, is that it's, it looks really nice. It is, it's extremely mobile and it has a quick charge. The nice thing too is that it has these nice built-in gestures that you can use with the mouse that I've demonstrated on the screen. Now the cons is that the battery life is inconsistent and that the touch surface is a hit and miss. I guess one of the experiences I've had with this mouse is that when you are browsing through and doing simple things such as selecting a bunch of text, um, the problem is you're going to be sometimes touching the top of the mouse and not knowing that you're either holding it down or scrolling simply because it's just touch based. And that's some of the issues that you're going to run into playing with this mouse. The price for this mouse is $69.99 and for that this is definitely a try. Now let's go on and talk about the keyboard. This is the K810 from Logitech. It is a backlit illuminated Bluetooth keyboard that is definitely used for mobile use. And this doesn't use any battery just the same way. It is also charged with micro USB. The cool thing about this is that it also uses three different settings for Bluetooth. And as soon as you press the key, it just assigns the Bluetooth connection to that device. So you can connect it to up to three devices, a tablet, your PC, your laptop, whatever. And the connections are quite quick. The, the connecting to it is quite as easy. It has a connect button right in the back. And for the most part, it does its job. Uh, the cool thing too is that as you're typing, it is very fast and very responsive. I don't know how to type a sentence. Type a, a sentence, because yeah, I suck. But anyway, for the most part, you can do all the normal things you'd normally do on a keyboard. And it's really responsive, and it has all the controls you would expect to have on a normal laptop, as well as a tablet. The other thing I have to need to point out, too, is that the battery life is excellent on this thing. This thing can last four days. And the battery just probably takes up that entire area right here, this big, huge square. So definitely, this is something that you can hold on to your backpack and travel around with you and have it sit around for a month, and it will still work. The pros is the fact that it is light, it's uh, nicely illuminated, and has a variety of settings, and extremely responsive. The only con is that it just doesn't have everything as a real keyboard should, but why not? So there really is almost minor quirks about this aside from its price, but then you get what you pay for. For $100 or $99.99, it is a buy. So between the two accessories, the mouse is a try and the keyboard is a definite buy. For Before You Buy, I'm Radford Castro. A buy and a try, say Radford. Radford Castro, our director of engineering. Now, before we move on to release the Kraken, I want to talk a little bit about audible.com. If you've ever listened to audiobooks, uh, you probably know uh, that they are a lifesaver when you're stuck in the car, you're doing the laundry, walking the dog, exercising at the gym. An hour on a treadmill is so good for you, but could, it's mind-numbingly boring unless you've got audible.com. Better than music, because Audible occupies your mind. It's better than TV, because you can close your eyes while you're listening to a great Audible reader, bring a book to life, and it's as if you're watching a movie in your mind. I mean, they really come alive. Uh, I just recently listened to Daniel Suarez's Influx, and it really, I mean, it's like you're there. In fact, it's, it's, it's happened in the past that I'll see a movie and think I've already seen it, because no, no, and then I remember, no, I listened to it. Audible readers are the best in the world. If you saw last week's triangulation, you saw Jeff Gurner do a performance, and that's what it really is, of a little bit of Influx, uh, the Daniel Suarez novel for us. Uh, he, it, it was like he was there, and then all of a sudden, the, it was like a pop-up book. The whole book just opened up in front of you, and that's how good these, these performers are at audible.com. Now, I know sometimes you're a little skeptical. Many of us are about the idea of listening to a book. Am I going to be able to follow it? Is it going to be distracting while I'm driving? Best way to find out? get one, try it free for a month, and let us know. There's some great new books at audiblepodcast.com slash before you buy. Check it out. You'll be signing up for the gold account at that site. That means that's 30 days, every 30 days a new book, plus the daily digest of the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times you pick. Uh, now, the, the deal is we're going to give you that for free for 30 days. You pay nothing for the first 30 days. Cancel any time in that period. You don't pay a penny, and you get to keep the book. So that's kind of nice. I think you're going to want to stick around. Try the new Influx. 
by uh, Daniel Suarez. That is a, a really a great reader. Any of Daniel Suarez's books. A lot of books, when they come out, immediately appear at the same time in the bookstore and on audible.com. So if you've got a favorite, Steve at King or Clive Cussler or Nora Roberts, uh, any, of the, any of the authors you love, when their books are out in the stores, they're going to be on audible.com. So I don't even bother going to the bookstore anymore. Don't tell anybody. I just get it on audible. Me too. Yeah, it's so great. <laughs> what are you listening to right now? Uh, right now, the second book in the Van Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. One of the best so things good. to do with Audible is to get involved in a series. Yes. Because then, I mean, I, I listen it's to the, the same voice voice actor. And too. you just it, oh, then good. then it's not just a movie. It's like a, it's a lifetime of great stuff. The George R. R. Martin books, Game of oh, Thrones. So the uh, I just I uh, listened to the Aubrey Matcher and Seafaring series. There's 21 of those. Wow! Imagine there's yep, a vampire. Do you like it, the Vampire Academy? <laughs> I do. Yeah, the movie just came out, so I decided ah. to go ahead and get into. Is this the a series. Bike Club assignment, or you just did? It? <laughs> no, we stopped doing Bike Club, unfortunately. What? But yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's just something I like. Oh, <laughs> so Vampire Academy from Snubs. That's mm -hmm. her recommendation. First one's free. Audible podcast dot com slash before you buy all right we're ready to release the kraken and unfortunately it's not some sea monster it's a uh, it's headphones <laughs> I, hope I, I hope you don't feel that i've teased you this whole time we gave greg burnett razor kraken forged edition headset the razor kraken forged edition you know what greg will explain it all to you Hi, I'm Greg Burnett with Twit.tv and Before You Buy, and I'm reviewing the Razer Kraken Forged Edition headphones. So to start us off, these headphones are a top-of-the-line, high-quality uh, headset. Um, Razer's known for producing you know, quality uh, gaming and music-based headphones. This pair is, seems to be a little bit more inclined to music, but it does have drivers that will really bring out those bass and mid-level uh, sounds, so uh, it's totally suitable for gaming as well. Um, so I spent a good amount of time with these headphones, and I have to say I really like them. Um, so since the, the Forged Edition headphones, um, they are made of brushed aluminum, and the cushiony parts are all made of leather, making them feel really well built and hardy. I'm the type of person who associates their tech with uh, the heavier it is, the more durable it is. So the fact that it's made out of metal and kind of has some weight to it makes me really feel like I can toss these headphones around and I don't have to worry about them getting beat up. They came in a leather durable case as well, so you know if you're the type of person who's really particular doesn't want to get their headphones scratched, you can shove them in that case as well. Overall, the sound quality on these headphones is fantastic. I would hope so, considering the fact that you will be paying $299.99 for them. Another issue I had with these headphones is most Razer headsets have a retractable microphone. This one does not. It has an inline microphone that actually doesn't work coming straight out of the box. You need to buy a splitter um, to have it work with your PC. That was a big issue for me. It stopped me from testing the quality of the microphone. So on to my pros and cons. Uh, pros, durable, uh, great design, great sound quality. Cons, had a lot of issues with the inline microphone and it's pretty pricey. If I was to give this headset a buy, try, or don't buy, I'd give it a buy. Even with the short flaws with the microphone, I'd say it's a quality product, really well built, and I had a great time playing with it. Once again, I'm Greg with Twit.tv, and before you buy, have a good one. Greg Burnett, thank you so much. We call him Grog and a definite buy. Boy, 300 bucks, it better, it better sound good, huh? But you They're know, nice. Yeah. That'll rock and roll like your them. ears. <laughs> hey, thank you all. Thanks for, for being here, everybody. And thanks to our reviewers, Shannon Morse and uh, Greg Burnett, to Padre, of course, and Radford Castro. Thanks to you for joining us. Uh, you can see each and every one of our reviews individually on YouTube. We do that so you can share them with family or friends who are looking to buy. Uh, that's YouTube.com slash Before You Buy. You can also subscribe to our show wherever you find better podcasts. Just look for Before You Buy. In fact, all of the Twitch shows will be available there. Or on our own website, twit.tv slash BYB. You got something you'd like us to review? Just email us, byb at twit.tv. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Remember, you got to watch before you buy. See you next time.